everybody, Brad Pointer here, and today I would like to talk about somebody stepped on my Corvette. I'm very upset, obviously, but he needs a real bath real bad, really needs to be washed, and... I came out this morning, uh, just a few minutes ago, getting ready to go to work. Uh, it's Friday, so I'm casualed out today. Got my t-shirt on. Uh, not that they, not that I couldn't wear a t-shirt every day, but it's just kind of how I'm doing things. But anyway, so I came out. He's all dusty, and I noticed this blemish on the front of the car. You know, like a a, a, a non-dusty spot and I look at it and there are there's, it's an imprint of a foot with the treads of a shoe like somebody just pushed their foot up there and like tried to kick it or something I don't know uh, doesn't look like there's any oh, whoops doesn't look like there's any damage, uh, but I didn't really have time to, you know, remove the, remove the dust, you know, around it and see if there's a, you know, see if there's any kind of paint scratches or anything, but I, I'm just confused. Sorry about this, guys. The tripod life is, is kind of kind of rough on me. But I'm just confused. Why would somebody do that? You know, it's obviously a small foot, so it's you know, probably a younger, <clears throat> a younger person. But I'm just like you know, why would you come up and put your foot on my car? You know, and of all the cars to do it, why would you do it to my my beloved Tyrone, my my favorite vehicle in the world, even before I owned him. Uh, it, the late '80s Corvettes, or not late '80s, late '70s, early '80s Corvettes, are like were have always been my favorite car. You know, it's kind of like the fastback look. You know, they've got the instead of the rear window that comes down like this. It's, you know, got a smooth back, you know, got the tail fin. Well, not really a tail fin, more of a, more of a ramp spoiler. But anyway, I, it just, it, it, it blows my mind that somebody, you know, were they testing it for an arm? Were they, you know, and I opened it up and the radio's still in it. You know, I don't see any any real, you know, evidence that it was otherwise tampered with. Probably because if my dogs, if they managed to sneak up to that point and my dogs heard them, they probably said, oh no, and barked them away. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of talk about that for a minute because why 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 I mean I'm not like some arrogant you know rich dude I'm a custodian at an elementary school you know and that that car was something that it was essentially a gift from my wife to me well, to us, actually, you know, we, we, we spoiled ourselves back in better times when I was making better money. And even then, it wasn't that big of a financial stretch to do. We, you know, took out loans against other vehicles we owned and, and, and got it. And it was, you know, kind of a, a hard-won treat for ourselves. Right now, 
I can't even afford to put a starter in it, you know, just because it, you know, it, it's not expensive, and I'm going to do it myself, so it'll be even less expensive, but it's still, it's still, you know, is it because it's nice, you know, it's a nice car, is it because it's, you know, I just don't understand why someone would do that. I'm a nice guy, I think, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty laid back individual, you know, I don't cause anybody any trouble and, you know, I don't have enemies that I'm aware of, you know, is this just some random act of being, a, you know, oh, he's got something that's better than, than I do, so I'm going to do something mean to it. I, just I'm a little aggravated and disappointed with with humanity this morning because of that um, and so I just thought I'd make video about it because I was gonna make video about something completely different but it just struck me the wrong way and you know my ride to work videos are now pretty short because I've got a short little ride to work <laughs> you know which I'm enjoying greatly by the way uh, the fact that, you know, I'm now, instead of 20 minutes away, I'm five minutes away. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any ideas of why someone would do that, I mean, is it jealousy? Is it just, you know, somebody, you know, that has a beef against me that I don't know about? You know, I'm just, I'm just confused, guys. That's all it is. I'm just confused. So, give me your ideas of, of why someone would do that in the comments, and, uh, you know, we'll discuss it there. So, anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace. So, I've got an update on the story for you guys that I was, of this video. There's the footprint. When you get down, you can see, you know tread marks so you can tell it's actually a footprint and there's you know scrapes from them putting their foot on the car well so I asked I was kind of upset and I asked you know he's dirty as all get out right now spider webs hadn't been able to take them out because the starters broke anyway so I started asking the girls and I started with Gwen and, and I said Gwen when you were waiting for the bus the other day did you happen to put your foot up on the bed to like tie your shoes or do anything like that and she thought for a minute and she said, yeah, I did. And I was like, wow. So I asked her not to do that again. And she said, okay. And she didn't, didn't think it would be a big deal, you know. And I said, well, you know, I don't want scratches on the paint. And same being this dirty, you know, you got to be careful even washing them to keep from scratching the paint up so putting your foot on it there can be rocks in your shoes and stuff like that <laughs> it was pretty funny you know that I got so upset over it you know well I wasn't so upset I mean I'm I was upset for me I don't get ranting angry you know I don't yell a lot but uh you know I was upset about the whole deal. Yeah, he's parked in there badly too because we had to push him. I had to push him back in there because I was moving him around in the in the driveway when the starter died. But anyway, um, all that is to be said that the mystery's been solved and it turned out that, you know, it was my own offspring that did it and I'm sitting there, you know, wondering 
Oh, who could have done such a thing? Who could have been so disrespectful? Well, it was my own kid. <laughs> but, uh, you know, at least it was somebody putting their shoe up there. It wasn't somebody, you know, launching themselves off the hood of the car or, you know, deciding that they were going to take a walk on him. It was just putting their foot up there. So it's not as big of a deal as, as I thought it was. And, you know, I don't think that there's, yeah, there's, I don't think she did any real damage to it. So that's the story. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. And I'll catch you on the spatula side. Peace.